Howdy, howdy. We, I'm, uh, <laughs> can I speak today? We'll see. It's been a while. It's been about three years since I last recorded a Let's Play of this um, game mode, the scenario called Dynamic Recon Ops. Actually, I'm not doing Dynamic Recon Ops today. I'm doing Dynamic Combat Ops. The difference is minimal. Uh, it, it's mostly the difference between infantry versus infantry um, experiences and infantry versus uh, mixed combat. So in dynamic combat ops, we'll be able to see helicopters, planes, tanks, APCs, as well as infantry. It's just a little bit more interesting. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. And I got a lot of interesting comments about how I recorded the kind of starting setup. Um, I'm going to try to make it brief. I did this in advance, so I know what I'm going to say this time instead of just messing around. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, you can ignore these errors there. It's a known thing with Arma for years and years and years just randomly throws errors like that they don't mean anything so here we go welcome dynamic combat ops is a randomized replayable combined arms scenario that generates an enemy occupied area with a selection of tasks to complete and sectors to capture uh you can press start blah 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 okay let's jump right in so scenario uh this has to do with where you're going to place your fob basically uh, or not your fob, but I guess the AO. I, I always see this as random. That's kind of the point is that it's random. It's different every time you play it. So, uh, enemy skill, normal, yes. Um, just so you know, I, I, before you start the scenario, if you go to game options down at the bottom when you're in the scenario selection menu, you can change the AI level. Uh, I have mine set to skill 0.70 and precision 0.25. This means that yes, they'll be able to see you in a semi-realistic manner, I think, <laughs> but uh, they won't be um, able to snipe you so easily. They're gonna they're gonna miss a bit more often. So uh, mines I have enabled. I have enabled mines and revive is enabled at 60 seconds. Going to the next tab, environment. I always like to start at dawn. All this can remain random. These are my settings. You can change those, obviously. Now, I am using RHS and a whole load of other mods, which I'm going to put in the description for you guys. Um, so what I'm going to have set here is USAF. These are the player factions. USAF, uh, USMC Woodlands, and US Army Woodlands. And then I, my faction is going to be SOCOM. I don't, I had a problem before where I would try to select SOCOM. Well, it's working now. Okay, well, let's do SOCOM. I, I, these are all like more army related. The USMC is different. Uh, the the Marines are, are different in um, RHS. So here we go with, with Russia. Russia, we're gonna have MSV, which is kind of the main Russian military force. Um, it's their motor rifle troops. VVS. Uh, do I just have VVS? Ah, here we go. Camo. Um, that's the Russian Air Force, FYI. And TV, their tank troops, tank forces. And up here, I see I have the enemy faction. This is just the the pool of 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 options that that the enemy is going to have to draw with. But here's the main faction, both of our main factions, and civilian is going to leave on civilians. Um, okay, next tab, ace options. If you're not using ace, you can basically ignore this. Uh, in fact, I'm not even sure the tab will show up for you. I cannot play without ace after using it for long enough. Um, the changes to ballistics, the changes to medical, it's just, I just can't play without it anymore. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so here we go. Allow repair anyone, consume toolkit, no, these are just, especially single player it's like do you really want to have weird restrictions like that if you do by all means wheel repair none uh the requirements are none i should say enable revive 
Players in AI, bleed out, yes, yes, leave those at their default. Uh, AI medical, advanced. Medic medical, advanced. Enable streams, yes, we want those streams. AI and consciousness, 50 50. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I have instant death disabled. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's, it's just a bummer. You get nailed. Especially if it's not a headshot. I don't know. Maybe that's not as realistic, but... Even, like, when I'm playing Milsim, um, it seems like more often than not, you get wounded. You don't instantly die. And usually when I play single player with the instant death enabled, I instantly die no matter where I'm hit. I could get hit in the arm and I'll just knock over. Um, these are all set to their defaults as well. Bleeding... Yes. Advanced runes are disabled. Anyone can use packs. Consume them. Yes. Medics only can use surgical kits, which shouldn't matter because advanced runes are disabled. And with advanced runes disabled, you shouldn't ever need a surgical kit. Um, and I think that's basically it. Yep. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. It's just going to do its little thing here. Uh, dynamic Recon Ops and Dynamic Combat Ops are really quite excellent if you are um, not interested in doing multiplayer or you just want to play some single player and you're looking for something that's random. Uh, most of the scenarios and missions you can get off the Steam Workshop are not random. They're very scripted. It's the same mission you can replay over and over again. Um, the number of dynamic and the number of persistent ones, which is another animal entirely, um, few and far between, unfortunately. So, okay. Um, so uh, I think we're going to end up starting up here. I don't see that I can really select either one. So I think this is just, I guess it's just showing you what, what, what's going to happen. So this is Malden, by the way. Uh, which, as far as I know, is free. Everyone should have access to it. If you don't, then I, I think it's part of, um, oh gosh, Tag Ops or Laws of War or something. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, here we are. Um, I pre-made a loadout for myself. Um, you can choose to select from all of these. These are all RHS loadouts. Right, you can choose some of the SOCOM ones, blah, blah, blah. Uh, like, for example, here's JTAC. Uh, or you could be um, an operator. <laughs> an operator. Uh, or you can click this button here, and you're going to go into your arsenal. And last time, I spent hours and hours just messing around trying to uh, get the perfect loadout. But I went in, and I made a loadout in advance. I'm just going to import that. You can always, you know, in the arsenal, if you're not familiar with the arsenal, um, you should, everyone should be familiar with the arsenal, I should hope. You can save your loadouts, right? And that way you can recall them later. Um, so just a quick run through of what I'm using. I'm using the M -A M4A1 Block 2 with the Woodland Stop mod stock. It's just my favorite. It looks the coolest. Uh, I am a huge fan of the Elkan Spectre. It's the best ACOG-like uh, scope, or sight, I should say, in my opinion. It does have a moderate zoom, like 1 point something, I forget. It's 1 point something, I believe, 1.4 or something like that. Uh, and it has, obviously, the, um, the uh, little reflex sight on top. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I'm also using for launchers the M136 Heat. This is known as an AT4. Um, I guess the, the, the name of the round that it fires is M136. I'm not sure why RHS doesn't just call it an AT4. This is an AT4. It's a, a one and done rocket launcher. Pistols, the M4, M9 Beretta, excuse me. Uh, basically standard, Milsim, you know, Army Ranger shit, basically. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not showing the, the pistol. Interesting. Uh, and then other items as suits your fancy. So, okay. So I have that set up. It's going to give you a um, 
kind of a group of people automatically. Uh, I'm just looking here and I'm noticing that there's not a single medic <laughs> in this entire loadout. So I'm going to find a SOCOM medic. Let me see if that's even a thing. SOCOM, SOCOM, SOCOM. Ah, Sark. Is that the medic I want from SOCOM? I guess it is. All right. It's the only one that has medic in the game. <laughs> now, obviously, Thomas Thomas, this is the person you're playing. I don't think you can rename that unfortunately in arsenal you can change the the face the voice all that i believe that should be automatically set to your um profiles preset default okay um so give me one minute i'm going to make sure this is all set up and working and then we'll get started okay we're back so i chose the m1220 as our squad vehicle uh this should be a cayman bae cayman which is in a form of mrap that the u.s army uses um and it has a maximum capacity of 10 people as far as I know. So I'm actually getting rid of a few of my AI here. And you can do that just by clicking the check mark here. Uh, yeah, so I made, I had a just a, a crewman and I made him be my med. So here we go. Let's get started. All right. We're going to spawn in. Uh, you have a whole bunch of support and a whole bunch of stuff going on. So let's just take a moment to, to figure out what, what's going on here. Uh, you have trucks available. Um, this is this is a uh, this is a Cayman, by the way. I don't know if that's the one I chose. I don't think it is. Yeah, here's the one I chose. Uh, I opted for the grenade launcher because <laughs> grenades are cool. Let's come up here and get in. And I'm going to cross my fingers. Yes, they can all make it. If they couldn't all fit, then a few of them on the end would say, like, moving or wouldn't say anything. They might even say unable to comply. And look, we have someone in the grenade launcher. Perfect. So let's, uh, oh, let me make sure I have my GPS on. Yes, I do. Oh, I don't have, I don't, okay, never mind. So here's our fob. Oh, uh, we didn't start at the airbase. Interesting. Good to know. Um, so it it gives you these different vehicles. Um, just as a note, you have other assets available to you. Okay. And you can call in these assets if you want to, to support. So this, this first objective is pretty... Hmm, there's a lot of stuff going on, so let's let's um, let's get some support here and see what we have. We have a uh, that's me. Come on, that's not something I can. I'm going for a tank. I don't think any of these are tanks. No. M nine seven seven. That's the M nine seven seven. M nine. Oh, that's that flatbed. No, I don't want that. That one, question mark? Uh, the last time I did this, I spawned in with a tank. <laughs> um, doesn't look like it's giving me the option. Let me just see really quick. Sports, nothing, custom. Uh, bummer. Duke is offline. I turn Duke on. Which will turn my... Oh, I can't turn my Minesweeper on. That's awkward. Um, okay, let's just do it. Let's not have support, I guess. <laughs> I'm just going to draw myself a line here. Um, this is not the easiest thing to do with a mouse. Um, and then right about here, I'm going to yeet off this way. And then we can kind of peek over this hill here. And we're just going to be kind of looking. Oh, I want to. You're not going to let me place a waypoint? Why aren't you letting me place a waypoint? That's disappointing. That might be a difficulty settings thing, but I thought I fixed those. So. 
uh, we have a waypoint for the objectives at any rate. So now we just have to, if you look on the right side of the screen, you'll see the GPS panel. <clears throat> and we're just going to kind of yeet our way down this way. And we don't need to see this whole driving part. So I'm going to pause the video here. Whoa! Or maybe we do need to see it. <laughs> I'm just going to pause it here and I'll bring it back up when we get a bit closer. Okay, we're just approaching the AO. I don't want to get too close. I have my grenade launcher guy just in case. Um, the mission specifically that we've selected is destroy the motor pool. Um, okay, and it looks like we have we have allies moving in anyways. Oh. I just thought I heard something, but maybe not. That's me. So if you look okay. Yeah, they're starting to move. Okay, very good. That was automatic, I, I guess. Go figure. I want to get close. I do want to get close. Yeah, see, they've got mortars. Uh, I want everyone except F2 to disembark. Okay, so let's see how this guy works, huh? Oh! That moment when you realize that your uh, difficulty settings that you'd set aren't working properly. Because there's no way I would have left uh, crosshair enabled. Rip. Oh, forgot to put in our earplugs. Oh, I forgot to equip earplugs. Rip. Well, this is going to turn into a how to not play this game. We hear a jet or something? Oh shit. I thought for sure I put earplugs in here. And I got rid of that, so. There's. I didn't. Oh, and I have all this stuff in here. Okay, well, that was my bad. Let me see if I can find one of my guy's dead bodies. Maybe they have. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Is my medic still alive? Oh, shit. Look at all this. We got wrecked. Earplugs. Yay. Why not? Ooh, he has a, a moss. Oh, come now. Give me an inventory. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <gasps> Rip! <clears throat> How to not play this game. <laughs> uh. Okay, fortunately, it does autosave, which is so nice. Um, yes, I should have mentioned, this. you do not open this in uh, LAN. Uh, you can just open it as a single player scenario, which is very nice. So we wait impatiently for it to load. Okay, oh, draft. I'm far enough away. Uh, let me get back to you. Just to show you why I'm not recording this. We go so slow up these hills. <laughs> Alright, be back in a bit. Okay, we're approaching the AO. And I'm trying something a little different. Um, now, rolling right in on the road is probably not the best idea. Um, I didn't want us to get too close this time. Um... And I want to have a, a bit more of a chance to dodge if necessary. Now that does mean that the 
the mortar is not necessarily going to be, or sorry, not the mortar, but the, um, the, uh, grenade launcher is not necessarily going to be super useful. So, uh, I'm going to have everyone except for Mr. F2 here. Whoops, that's not everyone except for two to disembark. And then I'm going to get out. And everyone, nope. Oh my gosh. You have to get out one by one? You're kidding. Oh my gosh. So you can hear that tank is coming. Um, also, our vehicles are moving. Oops, let me do high command again just to show you they are coming uh they're gonna take a while by. is what it is so everyone except mr f2 i want you on no i want you on where is it six no seven there we go stealth So we can already see here, we just, we got two mortar tubes and looks like some statics, question mark. Um, I almost want to, oh, there's the tank. Yeah. So we have on our map now the tank, we have eliminate emplacement. I want to do that first because they're mortars and they're close range. So. Uh, it might even be a smart idea to continue doing um, reconnaissance. I don't know what else is in the AO. Let me get some. They're not going to come up the road, are they? If they do, we're screwed. Let's look and see if I can spot anything else. Oh, oh, what do I see here? Aha, there's the motor pool right there. Oh my gosh, is there a lot of, what are those? BMPs, BTRs, whatever. Okay, we're gonna have to yeet, because I think those tanks are coming. Yeah, you guys can engage. While they're doing that, I'm going to see if I can get shots on these mortars. Uh, how far are the mortars? 300 meters? Oh, that's weapon sway, all right. Come on, guys, take them out. I don't know what's up with the weapon sway. Maybe I can get down here, back up a bit. bit there we go oh that's not gonna do it either well whatever this should be good enough I don't know why I'm missing or for sakes how I'm missing there must be wind Oh, they just launched. Move. Rip. Rip. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Is that an MLRS or something? Oh shit. Alright, I got a... Oh, I got a broken bone. That's not gonna be good. Let me give myself some morphine. 
Morphine first, then tourniquet. Ooh, do I not have splints? Oh, I may have forgotten to bring splints. And something happened. <laughs> I lost some footage. You're not missing anything. I got horribly crushed. Um, I'm going to come back another time and redo this, and hopefully we'll do better after I know more myself about how to deal with, with how the uh, DCO AI functions, uh, what kind of assets they place down, and the best way to prepare for them. Um, you do have AI on your side who will, who will go in as well. Um, to the AO and you can call them in. So just keep that in mind. I apologize about this. I had a recording error. Um, I will get that resolved. Uh, if you did enjoy this video or have any feedback, comments, suggestions, please leave them below in the, in the comment section. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you're so inclined. It helps me out uh, and it helps the channel out to provide better content for you guys. Also, I am streaming on Twitch now. Uh, you can check that out every Sunday. We do Sunday evening uh, Milsim with my Arma 3 unit, Task Force 121. Uh, so yeah, that's at 4.30-ish p.m. Uh, Pacific time. So feel free to stop by there as well. I have a link in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care now.